Hi everyone, it's Melissa from The Hugstrap. I'm here today to teach you our second song in The Who August 2022 song challenge, which is Love Ain't For Keeping by The Who. It's one of my favorite songs off of their album from The Who's Next. It's one of your lesser known songs, so it's, it's not necessarily a huge, huge hit, but it's a really nice song and luckily it only has four chords. So if you're kind of newer to playing, this shouldn't be too difficult, but the rhythm may be a little bit tricky, so make sure you're patient and stick with it. Okay, so speaking of rhythm, um, one of the reasons I chose this song and one of the reasons I like playing this song is because as a ukulele player, a lot of times we don't necessarily have backgrounds in other rhythm instruments um, and we tend to get to this plateau where we're constantly looking for this drum pattern. And in order to progress as a player, you need to break out of that habit. You need to start to listen to music and Pete Townsend is a great example of a player you should be listening to to hear come some kind of like strange stuff that he does with rhythm. He's a great rhythmic player. Um, and he does not stick to like a, a particular strum pattern. He hits accents in different places um, and sometimes just let the chords ring out. I mean, the fact that he's playing an electric instrument does lead to, lend to this, but you should hear his acoustic stuff too. It's pretty amazing. Like for example, if you want to look something up, um, listen to his acoustic versions of Drowned um, on YouTube. They're amazing. Like the later stuff as an older man in the 70s, um, the, the stuff he does is, is, is simply amazing and it's an acoustic instrument. So it, it should give you a lot of hope that you can do a lot with your instrument, even if it's not electric and you're not having to build off of that sustain. Anyway, that's my rant over. Let's start with the song. Before we get started, you're going to go to the description box where you'll find a free downloadable PDF tab so you can follow along with me. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any songs in the song challenge. And if you missed the first song in the song challenge, the description or the link will also be in the description box as well. Okay, so for this song, again, I said the chords are not that hard. It's G, D, A, and C, but um, the rhythm may be a little bit tricky for some of you, so that's the part we're going to have to go over a few times. So the basic rhythm for most of it is a down, down, up strum. But there's a couple places at the end of the verses where we're going to be adding a little something. It's going to be just a little bit different. So let's start with the, the beginning part. So it's going to be G, D, A for the first line. And for the first chord, you're going to go down, down, up, G. Then you're going to go to the D. first line and the second line. So let's see if we can sing that together. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then you go back. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So now I'm going to sing the lines. Laying on the back in the newly mown grass. Rain is coming down. start having some changes. So we go to the D. You bring me tea. That's still the same. A. You bring me tea. Say the babes are sleeping. So for that line, we did the D chord three times with that down, down, up strum. So let's do that one more time. You bring me tea. Say the babes are sleeping to the A. And then for the C and G of this next line, you're just going to ring it out once. Lay down beside me. Then you go back there. You're still holding that G. Love ain't for keeping. Now, what I'm doing that's different there is instead of doing a down, down, up strum, I'm doing a down, down, up, down strum for each chord. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So just that love ain't for keeping is where you're going to do that. So let's try that. Love ain't for keeping. So. So this is what I'm talking about, where Pete Townsend is, is very good at picking out accents and making stuff a little bit rhythm, rhythmically differently. So he, you can tell that he's putting it, or rhythmically different, I said that wrong. You can tell that he's putting um, more emphasis on that first down strum of the down, down, up, down. So, love ain't for keeping. And then you would go back to the GA. So what I did there for that second GA switch is I'm doing two down strums, down, down, Back to the down, down, up, down. All right, and then you would go into the second verse. So let's just do that last part from You Bring Me Tea because it's a little bit different. So, you bring me tea. So, down, down, up, down, down. You bring me tea. Say the babes are sleeping. Lay down beside me. Which is similar to the first.
first, so. Black ash from the foundry. Oh. Black ash from the foundry. Hands like a hood. But the air is perfumed by the burning firewood. The seeds are bursting. The spring is seeping. Lay down beside me. Love ain't. where you just repeat what you just did, so. Lay down beside me, love ain't for keeping. Lay down, my darling, love ain't for keeping. So same, you're just repeating that same kind of last part of uh, the verse. When you do the outro, I should mention that between that second verse and the outro, there's actually a very large instrumental, which I didn't bother to put in because it's a little too complicated. Um, but for the outro, let's just go over that one more time, break it down. So you're ringing out C and G. Lay down beside me. And then it's down, up, down, no, down, down, up, down. Love me, down, up, deep, and down, down, up, down, and then to the A. My rhythms are slightly different between that G and the A, and then to the G, that third or the second G, it's down, down, A. Okay? So love, love ain't for keeping. And then you repeat that same thing again. Lay down, my darling. Love ain't So let me know if you have any questions or comments in the box below. Hopefully you're able to follow that tricky rhythm pattern. Um, it's probably going to take a few times like to, to keep re-watching it, but just remember that it just changes slightly. So that G is down, down, up, down, A, down, 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 up, down, then down, down, down. So yeah, like I said, a little, a little tricky. <laughs> Um, it also helps to listen to the, um, the original version. So the Who's Next album is where, where it is. I think it's the second song. Um, listening to that is how I figured out what the rhythm pattern was. And that should give you kind of a sense of where it's going because he's following the melody of the song. All right.